Rather than large, welcome back to Kosi's Asno Podcast. My name is Kosi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in all parts of the world. Welcome back to another show, brand new show, and we are going to be speaking Arsenal transfers. We are going to be speaking Victor Osimen on this show because Victor Osimen last night, after winning the Italian Serie A's under 23 uh, player of the year which i think is a very very good uh, accolade and achievement for a player like victor osimen uh this season arsenal offered napoli 90 million euros for the uh, for the nigerian striker and it looks like that will not be enough now all that and more is going to be coming up in this show make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like the content if you do feel like you like the content let's get this to 200 likes let's get this video to two hundred likes massively appreciate you lads when you do that for me so let's get straight into the video now yesterday like i said um arsenal offered 90 million euros to napoli uh, for long-term target the man himself victor osimen however it looks like napoli are not interested in anything below a hundred million euros now according to the express this is what they have written and they have said arsenal c uh c 76 million mega transfer bid rejected by napoli for victor Osimen. reading more about the story they have written and said napoli have rejected a mega beat worth um worth a staggering 76 million uh from 76 million pounds from arsenal for victor Osimen, according to sensational reports from italy the prolific night uh, nigerian frontman has worked his way on to Mikel Arteta and Edu's striker shortlist, but it appears the Gunners will have to smash their transfer record to land the highly rated super, uh, you know, super egos international. Interesting, very interesting. Arsenal have long admired the 23-year-old who is now recognized as one of the best young centre forwards in world football, following his goal-scoring exploits in the Serie A. The North London club previously considered a move for Osimhen during his time at Leeds with legendary boss Asen Wenger um, um, uh, while legendary boss Asen Wenger also held talks with the player following the under-19 World Cup way back in 2015 when Osimhen starred in attack for his country but a lot has changed since then most notably Osimhen's value with Napoli now set to demand a premium in order to agree to any sell this summer according to Italy, italian outlet calicio Mercato, the serie a club have rejected an opening offer from arsenal worth 76 million pounds which is 90 million euros so that is according to uh the express well covered well very well, well covered uh story by the uh by the beautiful people there at uh the uh at the express now there is a question here and there's so many questions around this deal the first one is victor osiman worth 90 million euros you could debate about this we could have uh, a huge debate about this and of course we are going into june we're going into transfers we'll have a lot of debate around these issues but Yes, he's a good striker, very, very young. There's a lot of future, uh, has a lot of potential. But should Arsenal splash 90 million euros uh, on Victor Osimhen? Do we have other options that could be better? Yeah, I mean, there's so many questions there. But if you look at why, uh, why Arsenal would probably need to pay all that money, Victor Osimhen has been a very progressive player uh, in terms of his statistics you know, uh, his, this season. He, you know, he scored 14 for them and assisted twice. That is uh, in the Italian Serie A, which means you know he's um he's been it's, it has been slightly a better season than last season. Last season played 24 games um and scored 10 and assisted three times. This season he has engaged himself in 16 goals altogether. Now that is very very good. 16 goal contributions, um three more la than last season. He's now. 22 is tw i think is 22 uh turning into 23 i think the question arsenal will have to ask themselves here you know in this deal is is it worth it right because the 90 million euro mark has become uh you know so so common if you you know if you ask about darwin nunes it is 90 million euros if you ask about alexander isaac it's 90 million euros if you ask about any player uh it's 90 million, uh, million euros but I think there is no question Arsenal will have to break their transfer record, will have to break the bank um, to get in a striker. If we want to get in a top-class striker, other than Gabriel Jesus, you have 
and we have to break our transfer record 72 million that is now uh, you know that should be now in our history uh, nicola pepe should leave the club in the summer and another you know, another transfer record should be said but it should it be victor osimen i am going to say this yes and no i think the, the reason is why I would not pay that much money for him. In the past two seasons, I've not seen him play uh, more than 25 games. I mean, he needs to play more game time as a striker. You need to be playing 30, 35 games in a campaign. And I think he can do that. He's African. I don't think he's uh, injury prone. So I think he can do that. There is no question there. And one of the reasons why I would definitely, uh, you know, think twice, you know, before paying that 90 million euros, he has not had one season where we think that is you know his breakthrough i don't think he has had uh, his breakaway season if you look at the players that are being signed for that money arling holland he's had his breakaway seasons more than uh, more than one season uh look at um you, you know look at uh dozan blahovic look at uh you know patrick Schick. those players that you know where those price tags are actually attached they've had their breakthrough seasons i do not think victor osimen has had his breakthrough season now for me 14 goals uh 10 goals that is not a breakthrough season that is not a breakaway season that is a good season that is um you know promising in that shows that we're promising player you have a lot of potential but you're not yet worth 90 million euros but i understand why his price is you know is is, is up in the air uh, when um when napoli were buying him from little metropole they bought him for close to 90 million dollars i think that is uh uh th that was the price i still remember i think he's the most expensive african striker um i mean uh, if i if i'm to be sure so they bought him to cl for close to 90 million dollars and they cannot sell him for anything less than that and to be sh uh, you know to be honest he's not he's not retarded ever since he went to the uh, italian story uh, which i think is a better league he's playing for napoli uh, a better club his value has gone up uh, you know exponentially he's actually uh, you know increased in value exponentially and i think that's why Arsenal need to think it, between the region of 90 um you know and 100 million euros can he do the job at arsenal I think you know. I think, and I still uh, feel he can. If you bring him in, our, uh, you know, if you bring him in, Arsenal, you give him the game time uh, that he's been getting at Napoli because at Napoli he is their main striker, and that is what he's looking for uh, at this point in time. He wants to. Uh, he, he might want a change, but he wants to keep his, you know, his spot. He wants to keep his uh, position as the main striker. And signing in Gabriel Jesus from uh, you know, for Arsenal for me it means nothing. You can have Gabriel Jesus play from the left. Uh, from the left hand side of the pitch uh or from the right or you can have victor osimen uh you know play as um as 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 as, 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 as um you know as, as as your number nine as gabriel Jesus plays as a support striker so i don't think um you know gabriel Jesus would be a threat to victor osimen so if it's about game time then we can definitely get him but 110 million euros that is a little bit over the top that is that would be for me overpaying for victor osimen 110 million euros because that is what is being demanded uh by uh by napoli they want us to pay 110 million euros that is for me that is th that that's a lot of money that is certainly um a lot of money and if you look at this story here right there it is uh napoli have refused 90 million bid uh from osimen uh, and they're saying Arsenal need uh, Arsenal. They have told Arsenal that they will need to raise at least 110 million euros. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money in a player for a player that I think will probably will potentially become what we think he will become, but he's not yet there yet. Look, players like Lutaro Martinez. Now that we do not have Champions League, we are out of the you know the rest for them. But players like Lutaro Martinez. They're going for 75 million euros. Players like I, I just feel I just feel you know we are being we, we are being overpriced and we are you know we are overpaying for Victor Osimhen. So for me, Arsenal can do whatever they can, um, you know, to get Victor Osimhen. And the first thing we need to do, calm that price a little bit. Make sure the price uh, is calm a little bit. 76 million pounds. I think um, you know that is a good deal. 
And the reasons why Napoli are refusing that money is totally not because it's not enough. They also hope to keep their player. They think and they feel uh, if they raise the you know, if they pr raise the price of the bar, then Arsenal will find it very very difficult to pay more money, right? So. 76 million 110 that would be close to 90 million pounds right so i think they still feel they want to keep the player and raising the player's price or you know above uh you know above the bar would actually help them keep them you know keep him but for me uh there's so many other striker options out there darwin nunes is one player to really really look at uh, look Everyone is going to want to play Champions League, but we've got to try. We need to try out on Nunes. We need to try out on Lutaro. We need to try out on every player available in the market. We need to try to get everyone uh, you know, on our shortlist, regardless whether we are in the Europa League or in the UEFA Champions League. But of course, that is the update. Arsenal placing 90 million euros um, uh, for Victor Osimhen, and that bid is certainly not good enough. See you soon.